Hey, Loopline here, and I just wanted to do a short video on the 1.15.55 update because it updates the entire add-on system to some degree. In the past, when you have your add-ons here, when you launch a particular add-on, Windows would just randomly grab a Scrapebox instance and assign it to that add-on, and then that add-on would communicate with that instance of Scrapebox for pulling URLs or proxies or other data back and forth between the main Scrapebox user interface and the actual add-on. Now that's fine if you only have one instance running, but as people would notice if they have say five Scrapebox instances running on their desktop and they launch an add-on, it can link in to the wrong uh, Scrapebox main instance because of just how Windows randomly assigns it. And then you could be pulling URLs or other data, proxies for instance, from an instance that you didn't want to, and that can make it can kind of make a mess. So Scrapebox actually just updated the entire system uh, and the entire application and the add-ons to now work with a new add-on system that actually links them together. So if you have five instances running and you launch an add-on with a new system, it'll actually be linked to that, to the actual instance that you launched it from. So you'll always get the correct data as it transfers that information back and forth. So that's really cool. That should really help a lot of people. I know it'll help me. But in order to use this, you have to do two things. One, you have to update to the latest version. So I've got dot .53. So I'm just going to hit update here and let Scrapebox go through its thing and do the update. And actually, let me show you something before it does that. Um, what I wanted to show you was that in the add-ons menu here, if I do this prior to the update, it'll look like most of my add-ons are installed, they're up to date, uh, for instance, because they are using the latest version that's listed. But once I update to the latest scrape box, we'll see that it opens up a new option for a new version of every single one of the add-ons, except for one. Uh, and now we need to update all the add-ons. So we first have to update Scrapebox and then we have to go in and update all of the add-ons in order to be able to use this new system. So we can see all these add-ons that aren't up to date. So we can just hit update all add-ons or I can hit also not installed add-ons and that's going to basically install every single add-on and make sure it's up to date with the current version. So if I hit update add-ons it just will go through and download them one after the other uh, and update them all to the latest version and once all your add-ons are up to date and once the scrape box is .55 or higher, you'll be using the new add-on system, and that's how it works.